Hello everyone, this is Grizzly Bear Sims. Um, just wanted to do a very quick, hopefully a very quick video on how to configure the Logitech G27 and the Logitech Extreme uh, 3D Pro joystick for farming for Farming Simulator 2015. There's some information out there in some forums and there's some YouTube videos that kind of go into uh, some of this detail. Uh, some of the information is based on 2013. Um, some of it is sort of crudely put together and I'm by no means a professional um, videographer. There's there's guys that do Farming Simulator uh, 2015 videos that are far better than I am, but this is more or less what I did and what I think that uh, you need to do in order to get this working on your um, on your setup. So basically you're going to need a couple of different things. You're going to need obviously the Logitech hardware that's either uh, the I've got the G27 and I've got the Logitech 3D Extreme uh, joystick. So don't know if this will work the same for the G29 or any of the other uh, joysticks that are out there. Your mileage may vary. So basically you're going to need the Logitech profiler because you're going to want to make sure that um, this detects that your joysticks are connected or that your wheels are connected to your PC uh, so that Farming Simulator will recognize those. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start with the the steering wheel uh, plugged into the computer so do not plug in your joystick at this time and we're going to want to go ahead and launch uh, Farming Simulator 2015 and we'll just let it load up here and we'll go to options and then we'll go to controls the very first thing that you're going to want to do here is you're going to want to go in and you're going to want to delete everything that's under the gamepad uh, setting uh, section with the exception of one very very important um, item and you do not want to delete this and I'll just point that out to you right quick here uh, scrolling up it is accept menu item you, this must stay if you remove this you're going to have some problems with farming simulator 2015 so basically we're going to scroll through and we're going to just basically um, uh, tab in the field and hit the backspace key to remove these entries again everything except for except menu item and you're you may have a lot more items uh, or a lot more uh, entries than I do um, as a matter of fact almost all of these may be populated for you and that's okay um, just go ahead and remove everything we want to start uh, we want to start from scratch and we're going to go ahead and remove everything that I had previously set up and once we have everything set up then we're going to go in and we're going to configure how we want our steering wheel set up so basically there's some you know obvious uh, controls that you're going to want to set up uh, first and you can do more of these at a later time but right now we want um, well we want to uh, walk walk backwards and walk forward we want that set up for our gas pedal uh, that's what I like to use And you may have to do it a couple of different times, but it'll sort of get the idea. I do my walk right and walk left with my mouse and not the steering wheel, so I'm going to opt not to uh, not to do that. So drive, uh, drive forward, uh, drive forward and drive backward, same thing. It's going to be access six. It's going to be off of the joystick. Uh, steer right, steer left. Obviously, that's going to be off the steering wheel. And for whatever reason, it's not picking it up. There we go. Access one. You do have to turn the steering wheel all the way around to get that to work. A um, couple of other things. I use my mouse uh, to look around as well. Lift front loader arms. We'll, we'll wait until we get the joystick uh plugged in for that and then I think the only other thing that I do here is left uh, left turn lights I will set that up on my um, uh, right turn lights set that up like that that's just off of the shifter um, handles on the steering wheel and for right now that's all I'm going to set up uh, you can go in and set up some of the some of your buttons if you want to 
um, I will do that later. So we'll go ahead and click Save on that. We're going to go ahead and click Save on that. Farming Simulator 2015 is going to restart. And what we will just quickly do here is go into our game and just make sure that it has recognized those changes. Another point that I will mention here while we're waiting for the game to load is if you have any other joysticks, any other USB type controllers plugged into your computer when you're trying to do this, you're, you're going to have some problems. I pulled my hair out in trying to, um, in trying to do this when I, had some, uh, when I had a Flight Sim Yoke installed, when I had um, uh, some other GoFlight hardware that I used for Flight Simulator. And I ended up having to unplug all of that in order to just have the Logitech controllers plugged in for Farming Simulator to pick it up. So obviously it works. Um, I don't think we have, I don't think blinkers work on the, on the JCB. But anyway, we're going to go ahead and exit out of the game. We're going to quit the game. And we don't care about saving. And we're going to quit all the way out. Joystick to be ID number two. This is very important. Um, so make sure that uh, the G27 or whatever racing wheel you're using is uh, set as the default, which will be ID number one, and then your joystick is set for ID number two. Once we've confirmed that, we will go ahead and relaunch Farming Simulator 2015. And we'll go back to options, and we'll go back to controls. Now we'll just very quickly eyeball and check to make sure that our settings uh, stayed here. So these are all set up, drive forward, drive back, steer right, steer left, etc. So we will move down to the loader section. What we're wanting to adjust are the, the controls that we would normally use, the J key, the N key, etc. So lifting the front loader arm, um, what we would use the J key for, we want to be able to pull back on our joystick and have that set. That's going to be access number five. Okay. Now lowering the front loader arm, what we would control with the letters M and K, uh, we're going to do the side to side action of the joystick, which will be access number one. Okay. And then extending the fr front loader arm, I will usually use the throttle control uh, for that. So that's access number six. And then open the front loader um, tool. I use the twisting action of the joystick for that. So I will just twist the joystick. And that is going to be access number four. Now, obviously, the, uh, the Extreme Pro 3D joystick has other buttons and other switches on it. So it might be handy to set up other things on that particular device. I'll let you decide what you want to do for those, whatever the best practice is for you. So we're going to go ahead and click Save. And if we want to, we can go back into the controller and we'll notice that everything that we've configured for the front loader is now identified as access 5, 2, access 6, 2, access 4, 2, etc. That aligns with the ID number for the joystick. These items here, access 6, access 1, these do not have a 1 next to them. It's just the assumption is that those are for the first ID um, from Logitech. That's what's configured. Those are our wheels and pedals and all that kind of stuff. So now we can go ahead and click save. We can go ahead and click save here. FS15 will restart. And we will go ahead and go back to our save game here, Colborough Park Farm, and then click start. That's really all there is to it. Um, the, some of the information, some of the videos that I came across uh, required you to edit the input bindings XML file and do a lot of other uh, configuration changes, loading some software, doing a lot of stuff. And I just found that that wasn't required. Um, I was pretty, um, pretty pleased that I could just go through this process as I've showed you and everything, everything works fine. Okay, so let's go ahead and start our uh, JCB wheel loader. We will go backwards. That's working. We will go forwards. That's working. We will go backwards and turn. Yep, all that's working. We will raise our joystick up. That's working. We will extend our boom. That's working. We will 
open and close our and move the joystick side to side everything is good now you may find that again programming some of the buttons or some of the switches works better for you uh, to doing some of this stuff uh, whatever works is what's is what's going to make you happy and, and, and what's going to allow you to enjoy the game a little bit better and um, and improve your gameplay so that's really all there is to it that's how you configure um, those controls with the joystick so now you can use your Logitech G27 uh, steering wheel and your um, uh, your pedals and everything to control the vehicle backwards forwards right left etc and then use the joystick for controlling the boom this would come in handy for forestry um, etc so hope you enjoyed this video hope it helps you again your mileage may vary uh, this is farming simulator 2015 running on windows 10 i don't really think that matters um, hopefully farming simulator 17 will have better uh, control better uh, joystick better uh, wheel um, functionality maybe a little bit more plug-and-play functionality but that's how I got it to work and I hope that uh, you will have ex uh, I hope that you will have the same experience thank you for watching and um, speak to you soon